Hi there! My name is Tony Turner and I'd like to welcome you to our Dinosaur Hall. Now our museum scientists use clues in the world around us to better figure out how the natural world works. And some of the most important clues to figuring out how ancient environments must have been like are of course the fossils. Our Dinosaur Hall features fossils from both plants and animals of all sorts of different shapes, sizes, and different time periods of the Earth's history. And by looking at these ancient fossils, as well as modern day plants and animals and their environments, we can better understand how ancient environments must have been like and how they changed over millions of years of the Earth's history. One example I'd like to show off today is of course this very large skull on the wall behind me. Now even though this looks like a strange looking toilet seat, it is the skull of something known as a Metoposaur. Metoposaurs were cousins of amphibians, things like frogs, salamanders, newts, and toads, and this was actually found out in the badlands of Texas, out in the Texas desert. By understanding this skull, where it was found, and of course by looking at modern day amphibians, we could better understand the ancient environment of Texas. So what do we know of modern day amphibians? We know that they live in very particular environments. They have very thin skin that doesn't hold on to water. Their eggs have no shells that are actually very squishy. And their young are born with gills like fish to help them breathe underwater. Because of all this, modern day amphibians have to live in moist, wet environments close to sources of water. We found this large skull in Texas of an ancient amphibian cousin. So what does this skull tell us about the ancient environment of Texas? We actually see that Texas was a much wetter environment. It was actually fed by huge river systems that made homes for all sorts of large amphibians, crocodile-like predators, and other aquatic animals. So by looking at the fossil evidence, and by comparing it to modern day species and their environments, we can better understand how ancient environments must have been like and how they changed over millions of years of the Earth's history.